Here's a look at what's coming up in today's fossil hunt. Me and Shay decided to go for a late night fossil hunt, so it's quite dark. Different conditions to what we usually look in. However, we had a good look around and found a couple of nice little interesting fossils. As well as the fossil hunt, at the end of the video we've also got an incredible piece of fossilised crocodile jaw. This is one we've not shown before, so it'll be something very interesting for you all to have a look at at the end of the video. We've also got some ichthyosaur jaws and a really large tooth to look at as well. First of all, we've got this really large nodule containing what appears to be a Hildoceros ammonite. I wasn't expecting it to be that nice. Should I try and get the rest? Let's see. Maybe we can expose the rest at home. We spotted this large peculiar rock inside a big slab of shale. This is one of the fresh slabs that had come down after a pretty large rockfall. The nodule was pretty green and pyritic, likely difficult to break, however we decided to open it up just in case there was a nice fossil inside. Unfortunately, there was no fossils inside this nodule. We came across another large nodule which had the cross section of a really squashed ammonite inside. Maybe next 
we decided to open it up in case there was either another perfect specimen nearby or if this specimen was larger than we thought and looked quite nice. They're very difficult to open and lots of little bits of limestone shards flying about. If you're doing anything like this you need to remember to wear safety goggles at all times. We had a good look around the beach but couldn't find too many more fossils, although in the next clip we did come across a really lovely imprint of an elegant Hisserus ammonite. And the imprint's very piratized, making it look really golden. Next up, we're going to show the crocodile jaw, as well as the ichthyosaur jaws and really large teeth. Here's the crocodile jaw. This is one that my dad found quite a few years ago now. It was one of the first pieces of bone that we ever found. Amazingly, it's still got all of the teeth preserved down one side. That's really unusual to get them all preserved, and I think he did an incredible job preparing this piece and keeping all of the teeth intact. This is part of the upper jaw of the crocodile. You can see the nostrils at the end. Unfortunately, the rest of the skull, with the eyes or the lower jaw, weren't present for this specimen. However, we were still over the moon to find it. In comparison to the crocodile jaw, he has some ichthyosaur jaws which we showed in a recent video. But here's another look at them in case you didn't see that video. We've also got a really large ichthyosaur tooth next. The teeth in this specimen are really sharp but they're quite small of a really juvenile specimen. Whereas the tooth in the next clip is from a much larger, most likely adult specimen. I hope you've enjoyed this video, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.
Here we've got the tooth of a very large ichthyosaur. It's one of the most pristine teeth that we've found actually. It did have a crack running through it when we found it, so we've stabilized that. Well, the other side of this tooth should be perfect and hopefully still very sharp. It's also had what looks to be a bit of a rib running next to it. 